we get to welcome new members into our congregation. So at this time, I would like to invite up to the front with me, Clyde Klutz, Shannon Leader, and Jordan Tesh. And you all can just stand right over here. Starting down here with Clyde, Clyde Klutz is transferring his membership today from Cole Springs Methodist here to Central Methodist. He is a Concord native, and he is loosely related to Jimmy Campbell. <laughs> Shannon Leader is also loosely related to Jimmy Campbell. She's transferring her membership from Forest Hill, but she has history, past history here at Central. So we, in some ways, are welcoming her back into our congregation. And then Jordan Tesh started to come to Central through the youth group with Jack and Lauren Tumlin. She is a senior at West Cabarrus High School, headed to App State in the fall. She's on the cross country and track team. And she usually um, attends the 845 service and often helps out in the sound booth. So we are excited to welcome all three of you here this morning, and we would invite you all, the congregation, to speak to Jordan and Shannon and Clyde after the service if you'd like to personally welcome them into the life of the church. Shannon and Clyde and Jordan, on behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? If so, say, I do. Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, Put your whole trust in his grace and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. According to the grace given to you, will you remain faithful members of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ's representatives in the world? If so, say, I will. Church, do you as Christ's body reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ. If so, say we do. We do. I now realized I should have asked you to open your hymnals. So if you would open to page 35 and following, I'll give you a minute. I don't usually get to do this on my own, so. Page 35 at the top. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include these persons now before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround these persons with a community of love and forgiveness that they may grow in their trust of God and be found faithful in their service to others. We will pray for them that they may be true disciples who walk in the way that leads to life. Let us join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testament. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. New members, as members of Christ's Universal Church, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen its ministries? If so, say, I will. As members of this congregation, will you faithfully participate 
in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness. Friends of the household of God, I commend Clyde and Shannon and Jordan to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. We're on page 38. We give thanks for all that God has already given you, and we welcome you in Christian love. As members together with you in the body of Christ and in this congregation of the United Methodist Church, we renew our covenant to faithfully participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Amen. Can we welcome these new members?